Hi everybody, welcome back to Beauty Pets. Today I am going to show you how I achieve this head look with some clippers and scissors. So to start off with, we will use a four comb attachment on top of a 10 blade. We will run the clipper from the octopus down to the center of the head, skimming off the top of the nose. Then from the center of the head down the sides of the the front of the head in front of the ear making sure that you're not catching any hair on the ear as you can see here then we lift the ear up and skim off of the sides of the cheeks just to take out the bulk from the hair underneath the ear so that the ear sits more flat towards the face And then we do the same on the opposite side. So now we're going to put some shape to the bottom part of the face. So we'll clip up the ears out the way using a bun clip so that it doesn't restrict the blood flow in the ears. If we use our straight scissors and we put a half moon shape at the bottom part of the face. So starting from the front part of the mouth and working your way round to the back part of the head pointing towards the ears. Once you have a nice rounded shape to this side of the face, then comb out the other side and do the exact same on the other side too. Then we will comb the hair out and scissor straight across the bottom, joining both sides together. I'll also clip out underneath the chin, just three quarters from the neck to underneath the, the jawline so that it's taken out the first third of that so that it makes the head stand out more from the body. Now we're scissoring the visor using straight scissors so you go from the corner of the eye to the middle of the nose on both sides which should leave you with a v-shape. Once you've got that v-shape then you would just join it together so that you've got a nice round visor. So I'll now just take out the hair from the corners of the eyes with my straight scissors. You can do this with um, chunkers or thinners as well if you're not confident with using straight scissors round about the corners of the eyes. Now I'll run down the top of the nose with my chunkers just to take off the bulk of the hair off the top but it still leaves a little hair on the top of the bridge of the nose so that it doesn't look as if it's too tight to the nose. You can also use thinners on the bridge of the nose and the corners of the eyes if you are not confident in using chunkers or streets as this will give you the exact same effect. So now I will comb up the sides of the cheeks using my chunkers again. I'm going to go round the cheeks giving it a nice rounded shape over the visor, down onto the cheek, round the, the jawline and then over the visor. We will then move over to the other side and do the exact same. So now I'll just comb out the chin area using my chunkers or straight scissors and then just cut straight across the bottom of the jawline to join both sides together so it's a nice straight line underneath. So now I'm just giving the ears a comb out and then I will fluff up the hair, the short hair just above the ear that's slightly longer than everybody else and blend it in with either curves, chunkers or thinners 
all the work to do this the, and give you the exact same effect. Here I am using my chunkers as I find that it gives it a more teddy bear finish. So now just to finish off, I am going to just brush out the ears and then straighten up the ears at the edge so that they've got a nice straight edge at the bottom and it's nice and tidy and it balances out with the head. So if you just take a pair of straight scissors and go straight along the bottom, making sure that you're constantly combing out the ear to make sure that you catch all the strays and do both sides then checking to make sure that both sides are level so that both ears are sitting at the same length. Thanks for watching the video and if you liked the video then please remember to hit that subscribe button and the like button and if you have any comments then leave them below and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!